Thank you. Hit the record button. Why another big game for you in an ice hog uniform, multiple point performance, and you helped lead the ice hogs in this wild back and forth affair in terms of the uh, scoring. What did you see from your team? I know it's been a busy week from you. Taxi squad with the Blackhawks coming down to the ice hogs, playing in back to back games. But ultimately, uh, how are you handling this this whirlwind of a ride and whirlwind of a game like this afternoon? Um, yeah, I think just like this game, it's it's been a you know crazy roller coaster. It's been up and down and. You never really know what's coming, but I think, uh, yeah, today we, we played a, a much better hockey game uh, than yesterday. We made plays and uh, we weren't afraid to, to make mistakes with the puck, I think. And then, uh, unfortunately, we we gave a good team like that. We, we took our foot off the pedal and they, they took advantage, I think. But uh, for our group, I think we played a lot better today. Wyatt, you came in today with two assists over your last two games. You come up with multiple points this afternoon. It seems like you're getting more and more comfortable out there in your role. What is it that's making you feel more comfortable? Is it just the repetition or is it just your teammates or a little bit of everything as, as you've settled in nicely and become one of the go-to guys to produce points on the back end? Um, yeah, I think probably, like you said, a little bit of everything. I think also just getting to play more hockey games and, and getting back into things, uh, I think, there was a little, like a year, I think in a year I played like three or four, in a calendar year I played three or four games. So it was a long time off and uh, it was nice to get back into it. And now I feel like I'm, yeah, I get more comfortable for sure and, and getting back used to playing uh, more often. You take on a, a top team in the division in the Chicago Wolves, a lot of firepower on that side, both last night and today. Head coach Derek King, we just chatted with him about uh, playing in your defensive zone and, and sometimes getting caught, especially when you have a, a team like Chicago that can then turn around the momentum rather quickly. What did you take away from this sequence against the Wolves and, and their challenges that they presented to you defensively? Yeah, I think they play in transition. They play really fast. You can't be sleeping in the neutral zone. I think, um, you know, they make one play and they have another guy come in with speed a lot of the time, uh, whether he's carrying the puck or he's going to get it off of a, a chip or a dump. So, um, you just got to always be on your toes. Even in the, when you're in the D zone, you, uh, you might finish a check or the puck might go from low to high and, and guys are, are racing to the net. So you, you're trying your best not to get beat to the net. But yeah, they, they play really fast. And if you're sleeping, they're going to take advantage of you. Greg, voice in your line is active. Hey, Wyatt. Um, it's got to be a bit difficult jumping back and forth, you know, especially in your first pro year coming from the college rank. But uh, what kind of benefits uh, to your overall game have you gotten from the, the time practicing at the NHL level? Um, yeah, I think there's a ton of things. I think a lot of it's just um, might not even be practicing physically myself, but more so just watching and taking in what other guys do, like guys like, uh, you know, Duncan Keith, a, a, a legend, a Hall of Famer, uh, um, you know, Connor Murphy, I like watching him a lot too, just watching those guys in practice, kind of being a sponge and trying to take in and, and learn from them and see what they do every day. I think those have been uh, pretty important things when you're up. Uh, not so, I mean, you the practice is great too, but I think um, a sponge and, and watching older guys is, is probably the more important thing when you're up. And speaking of, of veterans, you your time down here, you've seen the really gel well with uh, Cody France and another guy that's seen it all and you showed that again today on your goal what what's it been like uh, briefly working with him down here in Rockford it's been great I think uh, Cody's he's almost like a player coach I think he uh, like you said he's been around he's he's played tons of games the NHL a lot of years he's played overseas in Russia and, and uh, Sweden places like that so he's seen it all um, He's, he's not afraid to uh, use his voice and, and, and he's for sure a, a big time vocal leader on this team, especially for the younger guys and, and the, the young D that are all here. He's a, he's a great tool and uh, yeah, it's been great being a partner with him. Thank you. Patrick Williams, you wish to jump in here on me? Yes, uh, yeah, go ahead. Just, uh, Wyatt, uh, what made it Wisconsin, the right choice for you. Why did you choose college over or junior? Uh, you know, especially coming from from Manitoba. Uh, yeah, I think college just. I like the idea of having more time. Um, I think when I was, you know, 15, 16 years old, I wasn't quite there yet um, in terms of size and and uh, strength. I think I, I did need more time. And, 
college kind of provided that for me. That's kind of the whole um, idea behind going that route. So, uh, yeah, that's why I kind of wanted to do college. And then in terms of why Wisconsin, I think um, just first things first, the coaching staff there was kind of what really attracted me. Uh, Tony Granado, Mark Strobel, but uh, Marco Siki, he was kind of the guy that I worked with all the time. Um, watched a ton of video with him and um, did tons and tons of uh, just one-on-one -on -one stuff with him before and after practice and kind of little uh, defensive things. I think that's what I needed to work on. I, I've kind of, the offensive side has always kind of been there for me, but learning defensively, just little things that um, you might not even think about or, or when you watch a game, you might not notice, but um, he helped me a ton. And, uh, and then obviously the, the, uh, the life away from hockey at Wisconsin is, you know, second to none as well. So um, it kind of had everything, everything you could ever want. And that's kind of why I went there. And then uh, I understand that Marty Murray is your second cousin. Is that correct? Yeah. What, what did you learn from him? At, uh, you know, he, he's a real high quality pro player for such a long time. Um, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I, I didn't really, uh, I watched him play a few times pro, um, I think when he was in the American League, uh, we went to Winnipeg to watch when he was uh, playing against the Moose. I think he was with the, in the LA system at the time. But um, yeah, it's nice to kind of have that bloodline. I guess my grandma would would be the one that would I'd probably learn more from him just because uh, she's a huge hockey nut and she followed him like she follows me now, uh, you know, all the way up. But I think yeah, it's nice to kind of have that that guy there. But um, yeah, I just I watched him a little bit growing up. Thank you.